You can start. LeBron James, um, someone who didn't use steroids and did really amazing things in sports and still does. So only, not the beginning, the middle, he points to. Does anyone like LeBron James in here? No. You guys don't like greatness? It's fine. I'll be great. <laughs> All right. Um, LeBron James, um, he is a household name now. Many people either hate him or love him. He's very polarizing. Um, I think he's awesome. He, he's not like the most humble player, but that's not, I don't think that's, there's anything wrong with being confident in who you are. And he's just more upfront about it. Let's be honest, most um, sports players in the NBA who have achieved things that LeBron James has achieved are cocky, just low key about it. LeBron James is more high key about it. Unstoppable. Um, 
But yes, LeBron did not have the best finals play. But in 2011, 2012 season, he redeemed himself. He came back stronger than ever. And they won the NBA finals. It was exciting. If you lived it, it was amazing. Um, in 2012 and 2013, back to back, champs. They were just, it became easy. <laughs> 2013, however, his last season with the Heat, he went to the NBA finals but did not win this time. But keep in mind, third consecutive year going to the finals, okay? The same. And then he came back home to the Cavs because he wanted to win championships for his home team, which have never won any championships. What a giving man, beautiful man who cares about his hometown. Back to the NBA finals, that first season he was back in the Cavs, got injured. Wow, so I wasn't even there either. So they lost against the Golden State Warriors. A great team, by the way. That gave the Golden State Warriors the confidence next year to play a beautiful regular season, a perfect regular season if we can. But Stephen Curry was just a regular season player, let's be honest. Because he did not bring it. He did not bring it the next season to the final. Next season, LeBron James of course, so was quiet during the whole season. Not much news about LeBron James. He was quiet. He was preparing. He was he was focused. I saw an interview with him and he had eyes of a lion. Like he wants that. He wanted that ring. So it was this summer, the champ, the NBA finals. I was watching it. I was there. I got emotionally invested in LeBron James. I'll admit it. Because there was this interview where he started crying and I'm like, he deserves this championship ring. And he won it. He won it against um, Stephen Curry, the all greatest, greatness, Stephen Curry. And that was the first NBA Finals that the Cavs won. And that was his sixth consecutive time going to the NBA Finals. Six. So he is a great player. He carries the team on his back. This is a quote that he said. I came back to the Brady Championship to our city. I knew what I was capable of doing. I knew where I learned in the last couple of years that I was gone. And I knew if I had to, when I came back, I knew I had the right ingredients and the right blueprint to help this franchise get back to a place that we've never been. That's what it was all about. Says Redeem. Let's all take a time in our lives to pray for this beautiful man. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed and are inspired by greatness, although despite all the controversy, despite all the judgment, all the haters, I'm looking at you guys in the back. <laughs> he is still a very great player and deserves to be recognized.